Speaking about Aubrey, you mentioned fit for service. Um, I would love to know more because as you were talking about play, you were talking about your movement routine and everything like that. And then you mentioned dance and these celebratory aspects of movement. It's not just movement for the sake of movement, which is good. There's a discipline inside that. But sometimes like breaking out of the rigidity with your movement, celebrating by dancing and um, really just letting the moment move you. Um, I know that you guys do a lot of that with music and with dance, with um, with Fit for Service. I've gone through a lot of the Fit for Service footage for the film, and there's every single one of them, there's a dance party, and I, I freaking love that. There's poetry, yeah. there's a dance party. Um, th these are all health-conscious people that are there for one another, helping people move through healing spaces. Just incredible. I would love to know what are your – what are yeah. the – the the main elements that you are so impressed by with fit for service and what it's offering humanity that's a big one um yeah you know we we what we do is we take like-minded individuals that want to grow and want to learn and we give them the kitchen sink we give them everything that we know the things that we've tried over and over again and started you know have some degree of mastery and perfection with and we we offer those Obviously, only the legal practices as far as um, yep. taking a deep dive. But, you know, we have guided holotropic breath work with Anahata out in Sedona. We've had Parangi lead ecstatic dances. Parangi is just one of the greatest musicians alive right now. Fantastic. Um, you know, we really draw in experts. I mean, we've had Paul Selig out for a live channeling. So we're, we're, we take people through all forms of wellness from physical to mental, emotional, into the spiritual. And we give people breakthrough experiences that are felt that are life-changing and you know these summits basically we, we take people on trimester by trimester some of them have stayed with us all three years the content changes each year we format it at the end of the year what the next year will look like and we take people through it and what's amazing you know and and not surprising to me at this point is that as we formulate what we're going to teach the next year, that then <laughs> we got to start embodying, you know, and and I really get to learn further um, what details am I not in accordance with, you know, wh what can I teach and what do I need to work on in myself, and it's been an excellent mirror for my continued growth. Um, like I said, some people have been with us all three years, as we're in our our, our junior year right now, and. Um, you know, these are ceremonies. They're five-day ceremonies we have at the end of the summit or at the end of the, the trimester. And each summit is uniquely special. We've gone to Tulum and Costa Rica. Um, next year, we'll be keeping it stateside. We have people from all over the world, you know. And, and during lockdowns, people really jumping through hoops to get there. We have a lady in the UK that wasn't allowed to fly to the US. She flew to Lithuania, drove to Croatia, and then flew out of Croatia. I mean, like, the wow. people that are in are about it, and there's no two ways about it. That 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 little screenshot you got right there is us doing a soul wander with Tim Corcoran. Hmm. We worked with Bill Plotkin. Um, Bill Plotkin wrote The Soul of Initiation, fantastic book. So, again, we we give people all the legal experiences that take people deep into themselves. And, you know, the thing that Aubrey never and I never really expected from this is the fact that it the sum total of its parts don't even come close to, to what it is. You know, it, it has become a community. Um, and even for the people who come and go, you know, we have an app where everyone who's ever been a part of Fit for Service is allowed in. And um, and there's that app is available to everybody, the Fit for Service Academy. Um, it's on, you know, all the, the places you can download an app. It's phenomenal. And I share everything that YouTube wouldn't want me to share with you. I share there in that <laughs> app documentaries, uh, some of the most fantastic articles really summarizing what's really happening over the last year and a half and um, where the powers that be really want to take this. So uh, you get Beautiful. juicy information and you're not just stuck with that. You know, if I eat a bad meal, uh, one of the things I learned over the last year and a half is if I eat a bad, bad meal right before bed, that's really hard to process, digest and eliminate before sleep. It's going to impact my sleep. So, you know, watching these documentaries, reading these articles, not a good idea to do it right before bed, um, doing it on those walks where I can contemplate and move it and then lift weights and then play with my family and enjoy life and remember that I am in control of what I'm in control of. And I'm really only in control of my experience here. You know, as I as I work on myself, I become fit to serve. And that service is really done through my vibration. It's done through how I show up in the world and it's done with all the people that I touch. 
my family first, my, my coworkers, my friends, and everything beyond that, everybody through the podcast, that reverberation is the trickle that we're creating with Fit for Service. And I think that's really what's drawing people to us is they want to be a part of that, and it's working. Dude, I love it. And the the last thing I want to ask about that is um, I think because I heard it was it was you, it was Caitlin, it was Eric on Aubrey's podcast, and you were talking about like highlights of might have been 2019, 2020. I can't remember what it was, but Eric's was a sharing circle, you know, and um, it just got me thinking that, you know, I've been to some ayahuasca ceremonies where the most profound moments are not on ayahuasca. They are actually the sharing circles afterwards. I would love to know just just quickly, but your your sense of like, what's this doing for community? How is this, almost how sacred sons are doing this for like men's circles. How is this um, really showing up for the people, not just the protocol, but the people, because it really seems tight knit. Yeah, you know, it's people wanna know that they're not alone. They want to know that that uh, the things that they're into, the viewpoints that they have, that there is a sense of other people that are doing the work that they can spitball ideas with. And, you know, we've had we, we, we took stats the first year on how many businesses formed and all the financial shit, you know, like who who gained what did you gain and how did you gain from being a part of this experience? And what's cool now is seeing how many people have been married who met each other in fit for service. We have our first fit for service babies that were born wow. this year from people who met in fit for service. And it's like, that to me is the unquantifiable. That to me is mm -hmm. like you started a family and it's, it's really incredible to see that, you know? So people first form this online and then they see like, who's near me, who lives close to me, who else is, who else is into this stuff. And then they become beacons of light in their own community. And that, the things and tools that they learn are what they take out to their community. So they start to find, you know, as you build your resonance up, that's what you attract into your life. And when you find others that are like you in fit for service, you begin to find that in your own neighborhood. You begin to find that in your own city, in your own state. And that slowly just seeds the planet with more and more people that are doing the work and healing themselves and coming to a place where they can actually sit with the truth and understand it in a way and still do something useful with it, where they can still come to a place of peace and equanimity, fully knowing what's on the line right now and say, we're going to do it better. We will do it better. And it starts with me. And I have people that are in on this with me. And there's people from all walks of life. You know, one of my, one of my best friends that I met during this was a retired hedge fund manager from New York city. Phenomenal, phenomenal guy. And, um, you know, I could go on and on about it, but, um, and even just talking about it, you know, it's something that I tell anybody who's new. It's like describing, a plant medicine journey, you know, like I can tell you everything about it. You're not going to know it until you go through it. And really when you go through it, you understand like, okay, yeah, this is something that's that the words don't really fully encapsulate. It's that it's that good. And it's that important. Make sure y'all head over to benjosephstewart.com, become a member. You'll have access to the growing library of deeper dives where I talk about all the stuff that I really can't talk about on YouTube. Make sure you get involved in the Discord chat. That's where a lot of the conversation is happening, talking about new theories, being able to interweave into the greater conversation that is how we awaken infinity. That's our highest potential. And I just want to remind you, you are the most powerful technology ever known to creation. Wield it like an artist with a conscience.